Hey there, everybody. I am Llama Juice, and this is part three of uh, this tutorial on how to create a level for Halo Custom Nation. In this part of the tutor tutorial, I will cover texturing the level um, that we have previously created. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Here's our map that we were working on. Um, I'm just going to click on that. And, uh,. I was thinking about this earlier, and I wanted to add some, uh, or add an actual sky to it, because it's one, you got to learn how to use a sky, and just figured uh, I'd throw one in there, because then it makes it easier to light the level as well. Um, so, I'm going to make it easy on myself, and just move the original ceiling down. 50 units, uh, then extrude it back up a couple times, negative 30, and now I'll have a nice little, see now it makes like a little grid looking space, and I only want the center part of it. And that part's going to be the window in a couple spots, so it makes it easy for me. Um, normally, you wouldn't really want to do that, but this level's kind of low poly, so it doesn't really matter. All right, I got those four selected. Um, I don't really want anything more, but I'm going to do these ones just for fun. Now, it'll look really crappy if I just had, like, a solid wall and then a empty space that you could look through as a window. And so I'm going to extrude that out 10 units, and then I'm going to do it again, but this time I'm going to size it up a little bit so that it actually looks like a a window so and uh yeah so you got those all selected there and they're all firing up ready to go um the problem right now is that we have everything a material id of one and if we want to start assigning stuff i always like to have the sky be one so I'm just going to select invert and name everything else an ID of 2 right now. So that leaves my sky as a 1. And uh, yeah. So you see now we have everything selected again. Um, but we're going to have to start applying textures. Uh, for the sky it's real simple. But uh, first you have to set this up and have a multi sub object discard old material. Um, I always set the number to 2 right away so that I only have two things to deal with. Um, I'm going to end up adding more, but it's easier to manage for right now. Um, right now I'm choosing what I want the sky to be, like, just for this model. So, like, right now this color doesn't matter at all. It's just there for purposes of being able to see it on the model, but what does matter is naming this plus sky. And then I always do it right here too, just so that it, it's not empty. Um, if you unclick off the model, you'll notice nothing really happened, but since it's the actual whole model is still selected, if you click this button, it'll apply what we have so far for our material IDs. Notice we have like a gray for the material ID of two, which is everything except for the sky, which is a one. Um, so if you can understand that, that makes everything else a lot easier. Um, for a number two, I'm going to want a few more textures than 
just two, so I'm just going to hit the Add button. And uh, right now I'm just going to assign textures to stuff, or uh, material, I material IDs, and then I'm going to uh, get textures soon. Um, I'm going to have everything on the ground be one material ID, like everything that you'll walk on. And that'll make that simple. set that all to three. That leaves the walls and ceiling at two. Notice how it's still, how everything's still gray. It's because number three on here is gray. Um, we can change that to whatever for now. And that color really doesn't mean anything at all. But uh, again, it just helps you distinguish different material IDs so that you know what is already uh, made into a material ID. Um, I'm going to want the ceiling to be something different than the walls, so I'm going to change that ID as well. So I'll select that select that, but now that I have the sky stuff going on, it'll make it a little trickier. Um, Alright, I hit L, and that brought me to the left angle view, and that way I can see everything that's selected, and right now it doesn't look like anything selected because only the ceiling is. Um, if I change back to the perspective viewport, you'll be able to see that. Uh, press P to switch back. Oh, crap. I forgot to uncheck the uh, ignore back facing checkbox. So, got to do this again. Hopefully that got them all. Looks pretty good. And I'll set that ID to 4. Uh, it'll probably show up as blue. Yeah. It. When you do it, it'll... If you don't have something already selected, like 4, it'll go back to the first one and start repeating. Um, I think it'll give you an error in tool, though. So you gotta add four, and now look, it turned gray. I'm gonna change that to a different color as well, so that I know I've put something there. Um, all the walls and that I'm gonna leave as is, because I don't really want to go through all that for this tutorial. Um, I do need a fifth one though, because I forgot to put in ladders originally, and so I'm going to have number five be a ladder. Um, so I'm going to create the ladders now, because I forgot to in the previous step. Uh, ladders are pretty simple, really. Um, the only thing that's hard about them is that you need to have a fancy name for them. Um, I'm going to hold shift and just drag that a little bit off the wall, clone to element, switch to the edge selection tool, select open edges, four edges selected, these are the only four, you're set. Hold shift, drag it back a little bit towards the wall, switch their size.